What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? It's Andrew, and um, I got some fun stuff for you today. Um, as a lot of you know, we're driving through the country. We're just cruising through Texas. We're right outside of Kennedy Space Center, and it brought me to NASA. Now, I have a very love-hate relationship with NASA, uh, mostly because I love to hate them, but uh, I'm going to try something new today. I'm going to stay neutral, okay? I'm going to stay very neutral, but I am going to show you some very exclusive shots that I've caught, and uh, I'm going to let you make your own determination on where we're at. Most of you guys probably already hate them just like me. Most of you probably are already sure that they are full of, uh, oh yes, and I'm not going to swear this time either, so boo pucky, that's what they're... We're going to be very cheesy today when we're about to drop a uh, an F-bomb or an S-bomb, okay? I don't want to upset anybody, all right? But I can't make everyone happy. I just want to put that out there as well. Guys, um, there's some fishy stuff going on with NASA. A lot of people like to call them uh, never a straight answer. I call them, oh, I can't say it. Yeah, the S, ah, forget it. <laughs> I digress and move on. Um... We have a collection of images here, okay? Now, a lot of these images and videos that I have included are exclusive. I have recorded these myself. Most of the ones that I have recorded that I would like to present to you have never been seen before, okay? Also, a lot of the uh, stuff that uh, I personally captured off of the ISS live feed, um, especially the one with the <laughs> the uh, stagehand walking around in the back of the earth. Uh, guys, I, I think with all of the wires that have been caught, the glitches, uh, the 3D hologram glitches, the, uh, the uh, uh, just all the anomalies that we've seen with these people. I think it's safe to assume, oh, also adding in the Digital Denial Act. If uh, you're not familiar with the Digital Denial Act, what it is is it is a bill that prohibits anyone, anyone from filming the Earth from space over the 60th parallel, meaning for a fact, for a fact, this isn't me talking, this is Congress, that all footage you've ever seen that was over the 60th parallel, including Google Images, Google Earth, NASA, is cartoon. It's fake. It's animated, okay? They are very open and honest about that. They're not allowed to do it. So that is not a conspiracy theory. That is a fact, okay? Digital Denial Act, I will leave it in the video description. Just so you know, I would love for you guys to get uh, uh, acquainted with a bill that important, okay? So, knowing that anything over the 60th parallel is fake, that only leaves a little bit of the Earth left, okay? It's not much, all right? And as you can see, the stuff that's over the 60th parallel looks the same as the stuff under the 60th parallel, so I think we're safe to assume we're not getting accurate information here. But again, I want to stay neutral. So, I'll leave it up to you. But I guess I can't really say I'm going to stay neutral if I'm still talking smack, am I? Ah, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Um, I also included um, something I'm sure a lot of people have never seen before. And what I'm speaking of is the hot, balloon, the hot air balloon program run by NASA in Antarctica, okay? A lot of people don't know this, but uh, many, many, many satellites, if not all of them, um, have only a six-month lifespan. Yes, we're talking $80 million to $800 million to sometimes $1 billion satellites that are only expected to live and work and function for only six months, okay? A lot of these satellites are put into orbit using hot air balloons. You are correct. This is something, again, this is not theory. This is fact. This is on the NASA website. This is on the NOAA website. These are things that you can see, all right? There's a lot of other things that m you might not know, like Google Satellite View, although it's called Satellite View, is shot with a military-grade drone, all right? It's shot from about 30,000 feet in the air. This is also something you can find the CEO of Google talking about. He will confirm that that's exactly what is going on, all right? Um... Another thing, if you look on the NOAA website, NOAA is the national uh, something of uh, atmospheric uh, something, I don't know, whatever. Uh, if you look on their website and you look at um, satellite information, it shows you that their satellite information, most of it is through NASA. Look at the NASA website and it shows you that it's being used on a hot air balloon, all right? 
Um, then uh, where else was I going with this? Oh, um, and also on the NOAA website, you can also find um, other radar, uh, radar images are done by a high altitude plane. Um, I believe it's the same one that holds the Sophia. The Sophia would be the high altitude telescope that uh, Hubble pretends they took <laughs> all the images. Uh, don't get me started on Hubble. All right, let's get started on Hubble. Hubble drives me crazy. I'm an astrophotographer. If uh, a lot of you guys might not know that, I do a lot of astrophotography. I've included a lot of my images here on the video archives. Supposedly, the Hubble travels at 6,000 miles a minute. Okay? Now, anyone that's ever tried astrophotography should know the rule number one to astrophotography is you can't move the camera. All right? Especially not at 6,000 freaking miles per minute. That's impossible. You cannot take crystal clear images like that of the Hubble and be moving at 6,000 miles per minute. How does Sophia do it? I have no idea. Maybe they hover. I don't know. I would imagine that they've probably got some pretty sophisticated uh, uh, technology on there. Honestly, the Sophia is legitimate, for sure, for sure. I've done a lot of research on them. Uh, obviously not enough because I have no idea how if they hover or not, but uh, you get my idea. Um, lastly, um, I included a video from a long time ago, uh, one of the first awesome videos that my wife and I had uploaded. It was of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch, all right, down in uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida. I want to say it was in what, back, was it uh, April or February? Mm -hmm. ah, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, February. Uh, February, February. Okay, so when we went, we caught some wild anomalies, okay? Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. It was an awesome show, all right? Awesome show. I put the pretenses on the word show, all right? It was a lot like a magic show. It was like, hey, look over here while we do this stuff over here, all right? I caught about four anomalies I can't explain. First one, well, three of them I showed. The fourth one I'm just going to explain. The first one, you can clearly see the rocket in the smoke going up, down, up, down, up, down. It never went off the launch pad. Second anomaly is the one I didn't show. The rocket never launched from the launch pad, guys. You can see this in the video. I panned to the far left. In the far left was nothing more than a blank uh, uh, or an empty uh, field with a water tower. Somebody must have hit the hologram machine and pumped it off to the left because that's where the rocket launched from, not from the launch pad, all right? Uh, third anomaly was, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, um, my camera was on a tripod, all right? My camera does not adjust itself vertically and horizontally like a cell phone would. But if you look at the rocket, you can clearly see the hologram glitch out and it adjusts vertically and horizontally. Not once, not twice, but three times. Three times. Uh, what is that? Fourth anomaly, all right? My favorite one. It goes up to the ionosphere right when it's about to uh, engage the second stage rockets where it's going to shoot the payload off into the ISS, blah, blah, blah. But all you see is this damn thing explode into a pink plume of dust and fall down to the ground, all right? Fifth anomaly I did not show. What happened was those two rockets that you graciously see come to the ground, land perfectly on a barge. Never happened, guys. A helicopter dropped them out of the sky. They fell so fast, I couldn't keep up with them. Um, I may have included it here on the video clip. I can't remember. Whatever. Guys, make your own decision. I'm not saying that these people haven't been to space. I'm just saying that the, the footage that they filmed from space may not be real. It's so... Our space is militarized. We all know that. Okay? Guys, our space is militarized. It is... I am positive, 1,000%. That the reason why NASA cannot film in space or the moon or any of that jazz is because they don't, they no longer have the clearance to enter space, okay? Um, one last thing I want to bring up, okay? Uh, and I don't mean to sound so uh, uh, down the, uh, the middle on this, but uh, I truly believe I, I, that NASA and SpaceX obviously has the technology to go to space and possibly the moon. I don't know if they've ever really been there. I'm just in the dark as you guys are on this topic, but let's just assume they did go and let's just assume they cannot film in space any longer. They can't film on the moon. There's too much going on there. The last thing I want to talk about is the Challenger explosion. 
out of six crew members, guys, that supposedly died, which we all know are still alive, four of them claim to have identical twins, okay? That not only look just like these people, but they share the same name. The mathematical possibilities of that are astronomical. You could win the lottery before that something like that happens. No way, guys. So I'm out. Watch, enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Andrew. This is the Boogeyman channel. This is the first video I never swore. I love you.